What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Falcon Concepts and today we're going to be building some custom control arms. Let's go. For those of you new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for watching. Let's get you up to speed. What we've been working on lately is called the Tallywhacker Project where we're doing a 12 valve Cummins swap on a 1984 C10 but also we're doing a full custom tube chassis, control arms, putting it on bags, all kinds of stuff. So what we've got so far, we've got the frame rails bent, we've got the front cross member mounted up on the jig. Now what's next in the project is our control arms. We're gonna get those built and then probably work our way to, towards the rear. All right, so we got our chassis jig here. I got the first cross shaft put in. Here's where our ball joint hookup's gonna be. First thing we need to do is we need to make some receivers for the bushings. We'll get that cut out of DOM and then we'll start measuring for two. That'll kind of give you an idea. We're gonna notch it here, leave this open for now because we still have to build our back walls and then we'll build another two and do the same. I went ahead and did a mock-up, that way you guys can get an idea of what we're gonna be looking at. This is kind of how it's gonna look when it's all done. Obviously, I still have a ton of welding to do and we got some gussets we're gonna put in here. But that's what both sides are gonna look like. So let's get the other side done. All right, so I got my one mock-up done, started welding it, and then I got to looking at it, and looking at it, and looking at it, and I just wasn't feeling it. You gotta let the metal talk to you, man. So, I decided that we're gonna scrap this one and make another one.
Oh yeah. Okay. Got the control arms mocked up. I really like it this time. I hope you do. So let's make the other side. It's everything hot. Okay. For any of you that are watching trying to learn, do not clean your material wearing your welding gloves. All right, now all we gotta do is weld it all up. Got the control arms all welded up. Let's take a look. There you go. So now they're ready for powder coat. But what we're gonna do for this video is just paint them flat black and then whenever it comes time to powder coat, we'll sandblast them and get them coated. I have a confession to make. The only reason we're painting these is because many of you that know me know that I have absolutely zero patience. So I'm painting them because I can't wait. The paint is finally dry, so let's check them out. Here we go. Upper control arms for a 73 to 87 Chevy pickup. Let me know what you think in the comments. I like them. Well, there you go. We got upper control arms. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button. And on the next video, we're gonna do the lower control arms. I'll see you then.